What's up? Was Jesus polite? Or is Jesus polite, depending upon your theological leanings in terms of where Jesus is now? I asked this question on social media yesterday. I ask questions, usually polarity uh, questions, yes, no. I, I find it interesting to make people, force people to choose. Uh, and I'm particularly fascinated by that because I myself am almost never able to actually choose, so it's good. Uh, I was surprised at the amount of people who responded to it. It was a lot on Instagram and a lot on Twitter. And I was surprised that it was almost an even split. Um, and so I'm like, ooh, what's going on there? That's fascinating. What I think is probably, there could be a lot of things going on there, but the one thing that is worth talking about is what actually is politeness, right? It's kind of an, uh, an ambiguous term in some respects. And if you kind of dig into like the etymology of it, it kind of looks like it comes through Latin in, in some way that could kind of mean like at root words of like refinement and polishedness. Uh, but I've been kind of slowly slogging my way through this like enormous book uh, called A Secular Age by a Canadian philosopher, Charles Taylor. A lot of people have heard of it. Many people haven't, it doesn't really matter. It's a hard read, but he, he kind of traces it through the Greek uh, of a polit, a, I'm not sure I say po, po, polites, um, which is kind of root words of like uh, citizenship, city, and uh, you might not be surprised to hear political. So kind of this uh, kind of refinement and uh, politicization, kind of forming the word polite. In English. Now, that, there's a, a fallacy called lexical fallacy to think that what a word meant is what it means now. That's not the case, but it is instructive. It does kind of tell you a little bit about how this word has landed in your lap and maybe informs it a little bit. So the, the bottom line is, you know, why, why go through all the etymology stuff? Well, I mean, Jesus did a bunch of things in the New Testament that if you look at it on the surface to us looks pretty impolite like to say, walk into the temple and turn over tables, or to, um, you know, to call Pharisees whitewashed tombs, which is kind of brutal. Uh, and then one time he's in this, in, in, this is a particularly interesting one, he's in an exchange with a Syrophoenician or a Canaanite woman, depending upon which gospel you read it in. And he kind of alludes, he basically kind of says that she's a dog, which is, you know, I did that once when I was a kid to a girl and it, I'm confident that it was impolite that's not important right now but the thing that is important is he did a bunch of stuff like that but what actually caused me to first ask the question was you might think this is crazy but i was praying through the lord's prayer you know our father in heaven the prayer that jesus taught us to pray and it came to you know give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins and these requests which kind of are more like commands or, or demands you might might say and <laughs> there's no there's no please or thank you which is shocking to my modern 21st century western sensibilities now i don't even know if there are word equivalents in hebrew or greek for the concept of please and thank you i mean those words themselves please and thank you in english are receptacles for what i would say humility so please you know i, I know that i don't, I don't deserve this but I'm asking so humility and gratitude thank you um, so there was certainly the concept of humility and gratitude but the words themselves please and thank you are two things they are they are their meanings for like the word meanings but they're also this sort of like it, this is the politeness is they're they're like um, they're like incantations they're like spells they're like they're like a, a part of a, a, a larger structure of games uh, that you play so I don't know enough about the first century uh, ancient Near East kind of context, Ju Judean context for what would have been those politeness games. Jesus would have. He was anything but a social Luddite. He certainly would have known, uh, but he, my, my guess is that it didn't seem like he ultimately played by those rules. And so the, the, the real takeaway, I think for me is, um, that I don't think politeness is bad. I, I still say bless you when somebody sneezes and I'm slightly offended when people don't say it to me, to be honest with you. Bracket, Seinfeld episode. But they are, I think politeness is supposed to be a second order virtue uh, because politeness is not supposed to be, and it cannot be um, 
a substitute for character and it's not a substitute for morality. Your character and your morality are the, the, the core and the politeness is only supposed to be on the outside. So teaching our kids to say please and thank you when they are not in fact humble and grateful is teaching them to play a social game, not to be the kind of people that they ought to be. Jesus was and is the kind of person, I'm using the word person on purpose, that he ought to be. And his followers and his people ought to be the kind of people that they ought to be, not just play the game. Was Jesus polite? I don't know, maybe.